Okay then, Robbie. The curtain coming down on uh, what can only be described as an illustrious Super League career. It's a big game, so bring it down. Are you looking forward to it? Yeah, I am looking forward to it. You know, um, there have been a lot of games this season, even when the going gets tough. You know, it's in those tougher games where, where I believe I perform my best because it brings the best out of me. I've never enjoyed games where it's been easy going. I've always enjoyed games where it's been tough, um, your backs are against the wall, and you've got to work that little bit harder. Because for me, I believe that I'm the type of person that needs that to bring the best out of himself. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it, uh, playing this game against Leeds because, to be honest, we could we could upset the the, the, the standard of the the Super League with the way it finishes up. And you know, I think that was part of our um, preseason talk. Once we realised we couldn't meet reach the top eight this year, we thought to ourselves, well, we can't we can't make the top eight, but we can affect it, and that's one of the things that's been driving us. But more importantly than that. We've been a very tight bunch of players this year. And uh, we've been a really tight bunch of players for the last two years. I mean, the nucleus of, of the team have been together you know, since uh, 2008. And it was very successful uh, achieving our, uh, our opportunity to get our Super League license. And then you know, to go through the beginning of the season, which you know, wasn't a great start, we've been able to tie back up and really push some teams really hard. And, and improved so vastly in, in such a short amount of time, it's made us really gel together closely. And so what this means is, this is the last opportunity this 17 players are going to be able to play alongside each other. You know, we're, we're saying it in every in every session. Today's uh, training session, this is the second session, uh, second to last session this group is going to be together. Uh, on Thursday, this is the last training session we're going to be together, so let's make sure it's on point. And this is going to be the motivation before we we run out against Leeds on Friday night. This is the last time this group of players are going to be together. And I think that's going to be great motivation for especially the senior players because the younger players are just performing anyway. So, you know, it's it's something that we're all really looking forward to. And even though you're moving on, are there any uh, particular names you're going to keep an eye out for in the coming years? Oh, definitely. You know, I've been immensely impressed by um, so many players here at, here at Salford and you know, obviously the Australian contingent that was brought over this year, I think all of them are world class. I think they, they add a completely different dynamic to the club in, in every facet of their training and, and playing styles. Also, you know, I think that the club has a great future. There's two young players that come to mind and I can't get away from them. Uh, Stefan Rashford and Luke Adamson. Both of them are contrasting players but uh, in the in in the way that they contrast, they also complement each other as team members. Uh, Stefan Rashford was the player's player of the year. Uh, all of us decided that he was our favourite player. He was the guy that actually performed at, in the big games and performed and uh, allowed us to win a lot of those games and he's been consistent throughout the year. Luke Adamson's been another find as well. Um, he is a, he's a great leader, he's a great role model for, for athletes. Uh, the guy is world class in the amount of defence that he can get through in 80 minutes of rugby league. Uh, his statistics are absolutely phenomenal and for a guy so young he's not going to reach his peak for another six, seven years. So if this is what he's delivering at this time in his career, the future can only be great. And what, um, good looking slightly wider, what, what are the best memories you can actually take away from uh, your time here in Super League? Not just in Salford, but you know, you've, had a, you've had a fair few years, haven't you, Rob, to be fair? You've seen it all. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, I've got a lot of really, really fond memories. I mean, if I look at across my career as a whole, the 1996 Challenge Cup Grand Final, uh, Challenge Cup Final, I always get a Moves from to one there. Like grand <laughs> final. But the Challenge Cup uh, Final for me was something very special. I made my name that day. Getting the opportunity off the, the back end of my teammates, good hard work to get over that trial line three times, um, you know, uh, leaves the fondest memories. And the third try especially because I, where I scored the try, that was the end where all the supporters, our club supporters were, and I got up and they were just going mad and all that. It just it was, it made me feel like a rock star. Um, you know, from Salford's point of view, the, the game we played, the semi-final we played down against the Celtic Crusaders, that, that was really my first introduction to how passionate the Salford fans are, how passionate the supporters are. They, they turned out in great numbers, they absolutely drowned out the, the Celtic supporters, 
Uh, they made it a home away from home. They lifted us. They carried us through that game, and it was absolutely amazing. And after the the, the whistle had been blown, and you're not supposed to, they, a lot of them come running onto the field just to uh, embrace us and join in the, um, the fun and, and and you know enjoyment that we were feeling right at that point in time. And you know, I, I probably a thing that probably surprised a lot of people, but um, the nature of the National League One um, final last year, that that is an actually an, as one of my top three and I've played in a lot of finals and be it World Cup finals for international, um, Super League finals, World Club finals, uh, Challenge Cup finals, I've played in a lot of them but that National League one uh, final last year rates in my top three just for the nature of it you know we, we took a good hard lead, uh, Celtic um, you know, really stuck to the guns and they came back and they pushed us behind and we had to fight and scrape just to get back into the game and then Johnny Wilshire kicked that um, goal right on the hoot to, to take it into overtime and it's the fact that it went into that extra 20 minutes I was absolutely destroyed, I had no energy left in me at the end of the game I had no idea how our players were running around carrying that trophy jumping all over each other because all I wanted to do was crawl into the showers but that that final has left a real, really, real special impression upon uh, my memories, and uh, it's something that I'll cherish and remember forever. And obviously, the past is new now. New chapter. What does that hold for Robbie Paul? Do you think? Uh, it's new, new opportunities. Uh, I see it as an exciting opportunity to um, to grow as a person and a, as a player. Uh, there's different types of. Um, uh, skills that are going to be called upon you know i really am more than ever and i was at this club but i really am going to probably be the the senior most player because contrary to a lot of um uh, people's thoughts i'm actually not the oldest player at salford at this point in time uh willie talao's got me by a week which i remind him every day actually um but i will be the oldest player at uh, lee next year and um, with that i think it's the experience that i have alongside me that's uh, a big thing that they're looking forward to grab from me and um, you know obviously they have Super League aspirations so some of the skills and um, ideals and, and, and lessons that I've learned here from Salford and their, their journey back into the Super League uh, I'm sure will be able to show, you know, show, show me and point me in the right direction and how I can be a bigger help for Lee um, over the next couple of seasons. Cheers Rob, all the very best anyway um, and hope you bring the curtain down on a fantastic career with two points on Friday night. Thank you very much.